What's going on YouTube, Jason right here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 17.0 all the way up to iOS 18.5 using the Pelerin jailbreak. Now this jailbreak should support the pre a 12 devices and there are iPad models that still support both Pelerin and iOS 18. So you should be able to jailbreak those. By default, this jailbreak does come with Cilio and with Zebra. Both of them are modern package managers and it also supports SSH. In fact, I'm going to show you how to SSH into your device using drop there at the end of the video. So this jailbreak is available over here, pelray.in. It's completely open source over here as well. This one is a terminal based jailbreak. So you're going to have to use the terminal in order to start it. Now let me show you how to jailbreak your device with this. Now, as I mentioned, this is compatible with all devices ranging from A8 through A11, and it can support iOS 15.0 all the way up to iOS 18.5. Now I'm going to grab this one over here. You have to copy this terminal command, and then you have to open a terminal window like this one over here. And and paste the command. Then I'm going to press enter and it's going to ask for our computer's password. And this installer should essentially get everything related to Pelrain. It gets the latest version, the latest supported version, and it gets the proper one for your device. Because if you go ahead here, you can get it manually by going here to the Pelrain repo on GitHub and you go here to releases. You then go here to assets and you will find all the builds. However, you might get confused because there are a lot of builds in here. Now, in your case, for macOS, you're going to have the the ARM64 version, so the one for M1, M2, M3 Max, whatever, and then the universal one which supports the ARM Max and also the older Intel Max. And this one over here is for Intel only. That's how you differentiate them. But I've installed mine using that script, it's much better. And now you can just go with Palrain with a one instead of I, dash L over here, because if you run it without any commands, it's going to tell you please specify rootful or rootless. Now, rootful by now is the classic style of jailbreaks, which Pal Pelerain does kind of support, however, it is highly deprecated by now. Tweaks are made for rootless at this moment, so you should not try that. It also requires a lot of space on your device, so it wouldn't work on like 16 gigabyte devices as far as I know. So don't even try it. Just go with the rootless one, so Pelerain minus L. With your device connected, plugged into your computer, and of course unlocked, you press enter over here and it says enter recovery mode. This will put the device in recovery mode automatically, so it's pretty easy. However, in DFU mode, going to have to place it yourself since there isn't really any reliable way to place the device in DFU mode automatically. So I'm going to go ahead in here and press enter when I'm ready to put the device in DFU mode and I'm going to follow the instructions on the screen which says hold home plus power button and then hold the home button for a while and then I'm going to have to release that as well. You can just follow the instructions on the screen since they are for your device. All right now as you can see the device has been connected as booting Pongo OS you can see exactly what the device should look like on the corner of the screen over there and it shows the uh, Apple logo with the Checkmate logo and now it's booting the kernel. So at this point the computer part of the jailbreak should be done. You're going to see the Pelrain logo on your device and it should boot directly into your normal iOS. So I'm going to show you just that. You can close this window over here. You no longer need it. That's as far as you need to go with the computer. And now I have my iPad over here and I can go ahead in Pelrain. That's what you're going to have to go to. And then you tap Cilio and you tap install. In my case, I'm going to reinstall it to show you how it looks like because I already have it installed. Now the same procedure that I have just showed you will be done if you want to re jailbreak your device after a reboot because Pelrain is a semi tethered jailbreak, which means that after you reboot the device, the jailbreak deactivates and it needs the computer in order to reactivate. Now, as you can see in here, Cilio does work fine. We can see all the available packages we can go here to the packages and upgrade everything. And I do recommend you to upgrade everything. There are usually updates after you jailbreak. In my case, it was only one because it's a re jailbreak. But in your case, it's probably going to be a lot more. And that has updated Cilio over here. And now we should have everything. As you can see, the repos load, the new tweaks appear over here. And I promise that I will show you how to SSH into the device. So I'm going to show you just that. Now you can get these instructions from Pelrain as well. Here on the Pelrain website, you go to documentation over docs here. Then you go here to frequently asked questions and then how do I SSH? And it will give you a command. And you can run this command and it should work just fine as long as you have libimobile device installed or downloaded. On macOS, you can install that with brew. If you don't have that command, you can just go brew install libimobile device 
assuming you have brew installed and you press enter and it should do this in my case it's already installed but in your case you might get it to install now the command over here that's how you need to do it i have my device connected it's connected via usb to the computer and you have to run exactly the command that they give you over here which is through the default drop there port i'm going to press enter and it will connect it's going to ask for a password in my case i set alpine and as you can see we can actually do stuff let me do you name dash a and it does work it says a Geosnow's iPad over there. So that's essentially how you SSH into the device. So naturally, if you go ahead and get the download button over here and you run the command or you get the binaries, this jailbreak supports up to iOS 18.3.2 officially. However, if you go ahead and compile it from source, since there is a make file over here, it means that you can compile the jailbreak with no problem, or you can use the actions over here to have it compile itself, then you will be able to get it to work all the way up to iOS 18.4, 18.5, and so on. However, the issue is that UI cache is is broken on 18.4 and newer, which means that you will not be able to see the loader application and the Cilio application and so on. The icon cache will not refresh. A temporary solution for that, if you need to use it, is to make a shortcut using the shortcuts application for each of those applications, like the loader and Cilio and so on. But that is not really recommended by the developers. So only use this on iOS 18.4 and newer if you have to. Anyway, the rest of the jailbreak like SSH and so on would work fine. Now I'm going to show you how to remove Pellerin jailbreak if you no longer want it or if a tweak is misbehaving and is doing something wrong on the device. So you go again here into Pellerin, into the loader essentially, and you go to restore system and then you press restore system. This will delete everything from the uh, jailbreak side, but it will leave all your personal data intact, which means your tweaks will be deleted, your repos will be deleted, but not your photos, not your contacts, nothing from the user side. So I'm going to restore system. System, and this will reboot the iPad in this case. And after it reboots, it will reboot into a state where the jailbreak is no longer there. No more jailbreak applications. You can of course reinstall the jailbreak after that using the same commands from Pellerin back again, and that would work. But you will have to install Cilio again, set the password for sudo again, and that's essentially it. That's how you jailbreak with Pellerin. As I said, this does work on macOS and Linux. If you have another kind of PC, for example, Windows computer, there is no official Windows version available. And I don't think there will ever be. So at this point, your only method would be to grab a USB thumb drive, at least 32 gigs in size, and use Balena Etcher or Rufus to flash the ISO image that they give you over here. And it's a pre-made Linux environment that has Pellerin installed so that you can install Pellerin easily with it. And this one is made for dual booting. So you would get this one over here for x86-64. It's very small you place it on that USB device with Balena Etcher or with Rufus and then you can boot that while keeping your Windows computer intact. You don't have to replace Windows with it. For Linux, there is the same command that I ran in the video and for macOS, the same command that I ran in the video. Also check out the offensive iOS internals course by 8K Sec. If you wanna learn how to make your own jailbreak or how these jailbreaks work or how iOS security works in general, this course is actually quite great place to start and it's quite beginner friendly. Now this goes in depth about iOS kernel, security mitigations, the ARM64 assembly, under Understanding memory allocation in user land and kernel, understanding the iOS firmware, everything is in here. So if you want to learn about jailbreaking, this is a great place to start, especially if you want to learn how to do iOS security and how to assess security of applications and so on. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am GSNow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.